let me start because we have the elections coming up in Louisiana. And I'm going to ask you this first, as opposed to last one, I might forget because I'm old and, and, and feeble and over sugared from two of those. <laughs> <laughs> the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, either yesterday or the day before, just unilaterally made the rule. We're going to do nothing but mail in voting. Well, that's not entirely true. The way they're going to do it in California is they're going to mail ballots to every registered voter in the state now they don't know if those people are going to go in and vote in person they don't have they admit they don't have a checks and balances that the infrastructure to cross check voters against mail-in ballots they admit that's not in place could anything like that where a governor would just make a unilateral decision to change the structure of elections in Louisiana. Could that ever happen here? Not without a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, seriously, uh, I, I don't even know what gives the governor the power to do that. Um, certainly, you know, we have had some issues uh, given with COVID last year and then hurricanes, uh, Laura, Delta, Zeta. Um, and, and even now, after Ida, we have emergency provisions in the law uh, for us to act. And he can't act without me certifying an emergency. And then he can act uh, on my recommendations of moving the election or, or deciding so not to move So I guess if it were like California where everybody goes along, it doesn't matter whether you follow the law, be it a state law or a federal law or, or to a greater extent, the Constitution of the United States. If nobody says you can't do that, it's illegal. It's 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 suddenly okay uh, in the independent country of California. It seems to be <laughs> yes. I assume there is some kind of national secretaries of state organization where where you and the guy from Florida and the guy from Texas and the guy from Minnesota or the gal from California, whoever it happens to be, all get together and yes. talk about elections and the implementation of. Fair elections and honest elections. When 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 you go to these meetings and you're hanging out with the woman from California <laughs> or the fella from Oregon or you see where I'm going with this, yeah. does, does it scare the hell out of you? <laughs> well, and I'm being uh, Kyle. I swear, no, I'm, I, being, I'm being 100 percent serious. No, I understand. I, well, I happen to just be have become the president of the National Association of Secretaries. So who can you State. kick out? So <laughs> I can't kick anybody out. <laughs> Uh, as long as they pay their dues, they're, they're okay. But uh, you, you're, you're absolutely correct. We do have a lot of, uh, um, shall I'll we say, say shady elections, colored conversations of you know, and spirited debate on how some states are doing things versus other states. Okay, on or off the record. Oh wait, the mics are on. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you talk to someone from Oregon or California. Or Minnesota or any of the most radically my word not necessarily yours liberal states and they make the case for like we talked about Gavin Newsom in California we're just gonna send everybody all the rest everybody gets a ballot in the mail whether they vote in person or not when when they make the case for that do you sense their do you sense they're true believers or do you sense that they know it's an unmitigated and and moralist power grab? My words, not yours. I, I think my colleagues, for the most part, are, are committed to their positions. Um, I think that they're they're wrong. Um, our, our goal on the conservative side is to make it easy to vote, but harder to cheat. And theirs is give everybody everything and use every emergency to their advantage for political um, advancement. And so it's frustrating um, for me when liberal colleagues from around the country call me uh, all sorts of things because I actually want accountability in Bigot, the system. Bigot, racist, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you, 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 Fill you in the blank, it. right? Yeah, absolutely. And and I don't think there's anything wrong with accountability. And voting is a right, but it's also a choice. You can choose to go to the polls, or you can choose to vote absentee if you fit the qualifications for it. But the bottom line is you have to have checks and balances in the system to keep it honest, and, that, and that's what it's all about.